Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can increase RAM frequency on Gigabyte motherboard. So that's been said, let's get started. If you have Gigabyte motherboard installed on your Windows 11 system and you want to increase the RAM frequency, then follow this tutorial. Now to check the default RAM frequency which is running on your Gigabyte motherboard, then you can simply right click on the start button, then click on Tax Manager and here click on performance and here click on memory option. Here you can see I'm using 16 GB of RAM on my Gigabyte motherboard and it has 3200 MHz speed but it is running on 2133 MHz. Now I want to increase that RAM speed on my Gigabyte motherboard. Now to increase the RAM frequency on Gigabyte motherboard, we have to download some utility. For that you have to know your Gigabyte motherboard model. To know the model of your Gigabyte motherboard, on the search option, simply search for system information and open this option and here you will find all your system information. Here you can see system manufacturer that is Gigabyte technology and here you can see the system model B4U RS Pro Wi-Fi. I have to search this term on Google. So just open your browser and here search for your motherboard and open the link from gigabyte.com. So this is the motherboard I'm using on my system. Now to download the utility software for this Gigabyte motherboard, simply click on this support option and here you will get the download option. Here you will find all the utility tools for your Gigabyte Aorus Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. First of all, here we have to select the operating system which is running on this Gigabyte motherboard. So we are using Windows operating system. So here from the drop down menu, simply select your operating system and here you will find all your drivers and utility tools. Now to download the utility, simply click on this utility option and here look for one utility called Easy Tune. So here we have our Easy Tune utility, simply click on this download option to download this utility. Here you can see it is downloading, so let me open this. Here we have Easy Tune utility, simply extract this, just open this folder. Inside this folder you will find one setup application, simply open this setup application. Here you can see it is installing, so let me come to the installation process. Here click on next. Here you can see that Gigabyte has successfully installed EasyTune on our system. Now we have to restart our computer. For that simply click on this yes option then click on finish. After restarting your computer simply on the search option search for EasyTune. So here we have the EasyTune application simply open this. So this is the interface of EasyTune utility software for Gigabyte motherboard. Here we have Smart Boost, Advanced CPU Overclock, Advanced DDR Overclock, Advanced Power and Hotkey option. And here we have our motherboard name and BIOS version. Here we have the processor and the processor speed. And here we have our RAM and the RAM speed. So this is the RAM frequency which is set by default on Windows 11. Now I want to increase this RAM frequency. For that simply click on Advanced DDR OC. And here we have frequency option. From the drop down menu select the highest frequency your RAM can support. I am using 3200 MHz RAM so I will select 32 and here click on apply. To apply this setting you have to reboot your system. Now to check the increased RAM frequency simply right click on the start button then click on task manager. Here click on performance tab and select memory and here you can see that our RAM frequency has been increased to 3200 MHz. So this way you can increase RAM frequency in Gigabyte motherboard. Now if you want to download other utility tools for your Gigabyte motherboard, then you can download App Center. Simply visit your Gigabyte motherboard support page and here look for App Center and download this App Center and install on your system. So this way you can easily increase your RAM frequency on Gigabyte motherboard. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.